hey guys thanks so much for tuning in this week to this georgia clay as you guys know i have my voice back i'm still a little bit under the weather but i'm a whole lot better than last week's vlog um i was looking at that vlog like there's a lot of changes that need to take place um health wise so I'm, I'm working on that but um in terms of this week's vlog we are doing a mini or i wouldn't say a mini a full refresh of the porch here um if you guys have been watching for a while you do know on the porch i had two rocker chairs before and i was just kind of debating if i wanted to get a swing bed that still might be possibly something that we do in the future thinking maybe me, me and matt can tackle that as a diy project but as of right now um we went ahead and did a refresh and partnered with cosplay so let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog So today we're partnering with Costway. I absolutely love when they reach out to me and want to do collabs because they just have amazing product on their website. But this time around, I wanted to um, partner with them to do a refresh on my outdoor porch. So I'm just on their website looking for something that matches similar to the two existing chairs that I had prior. Um, so I ended up coming up on a nice beige um, sofa that I decided to go very well with but they have so many different items on their website and the prices are really good guys like so I just absolutely love it so here we are just opening up the box I swear I get so many boxes I have like boxes everywhere you should see our basement anyways um so I'm just taking everything out and it came with great directions so it was easy to follow along and put them together so Matt's just helping me out here Now that the sofa was put together, it was time to get rid of our old rockers. So actually the rockers didn't travel too far. They actually went next door to my neighbor Gina. Um, so she'll enjoy them, but it just wasn't giving me the vibes that I wanted for the front of my home. And also a lot of the people in our neighborhood had rockers and I just wanted to be a little bit different than all of my neighbors. So of course you see me and Matt just talking about exactly how the plan's gonna be. I think also I was talking to one of my neighbors as well. They were just giving me some compliments on the front of the porch, so yeah. Um, so here is Matt, he's just cleaning off the porch for us a little bit. We do need to get a pressure washer. That's something that I really need. So we will be investing in that pretty soon. Um, but we're just doing it the old fashioned way with just a regular broom and getting everything off. So once everything was nice and clean, it was time to bring out the new sofa. Um, so it was good that it actually had two uh, connecting pieces that connect essentially two chairs to one to make the sofa because it allowed some flexibility of getting around the door to get out. Um, but we're just setting up everything here and I just love how it came out. So clearly Miss Leah is loving the front porch. <laughs> 
So this is another item that I chose from Costway, their topiaries. So I know that you guys have probably seen a lot on um, Instagram or YouTube of people using faux hedges in containers. Well, I wanted to do that same concept because I can see that it's just a lot of less maintenance, but with something that also included real flowers. So because they were a little bit too short or shallow for my container, I uh, just built these little platforms for me with some spare wood that we had. And then this footage is actually from Leah. <laughs> So thanks again so much for Costway for sending this over to us. It completes the porch and I feel like it just gives that extra um, seating that we needed so that way we can invite friends over because I have already enjoyed this space with cocktails with my neighbor Gina. So it's been nice. Um, so these pillows I will not be keeping. They actually go out on our deck because that theme is more of a white and black back there. Um, but these are just ones that I just put here so that way it has something uh, but I will be changing that out I just haven't had a chance to do so so out on the porch I wanted something that was like a statement when you walk up to the house so I wanted to make sure that the porch gets the right attention that it needs and I felt like with just having the two rockers it just was lacking like it was just no one wanted to come out here there wasn't enough uh, seating for anyone to sit uh, we are a family of five so technically this isn't enough seating either, but we don't have all five of us at one time. So four is just enough space for all of us um, to enjoy it. But again, with the rockers, I really just wanted something that just took up the space. It just felt like it was just lackluster. I'm just sitting here. Um, so with having this now, I just feel like it's just nice. It's welcoming and it's inviting. I also have a hydrangea here that I am <laughs> nursing back to health because for a while when I was gone, um, I forgot to tell my son to water the hydrangea, so it kind of was lacking of that. But also these blooms are spent, which means that they've had their, their ring of glory and I need to cut these off and then the new ones have already come in and these are actually more of a true pink. Okay, so Cosway sent over this topiary here and it is a full one. And I just felt like when it before when it was in this uh, container, which I did get from Walmart, and I actually got it before it started being a viral sensation. I love the fluted detail on it, and I also love the ones from um, Crate and Barrel, but they were just out of my price range. I didn't feel like I was going to spend 250 plus for something that I may not use all the time. So anyway, so I got these. They're $25 each. I have two of them. I would like to find some more, but as of right now, since they are a viral sensation, it's kind of hard to find multiples. Um, so I decided to go ahead and put real plants in here as well. So Matt built me a riser that this is actually sitting on. I put in some potting soil and then I planted again. These are super mini Vista um, Sweet Sangria and it's a new um, color for 2023 for Proven Winners and I absolutely love them. These are only three plants and it's actually taken up at first. Um, I'll insert a picture that there was only three plants here and at first I was talking to my friend um, Kay Whitaker and she loves plants and I was asking her I was like do you think this is gonna fill in because I was just nervous and I didn't think it was gonna you know fill in but I just decided to go on with three and now they're actually coming together now and filling in the back of here and eventually throughout the season it will have some spillage but these are not super tuna super tuna vistas or super mini super tuna vistas so they won't have the crew the full spillage like a super tuna mini a super tuna vista will it's a lot of tongue twister um but yeah i love how it's filling in it's doing a great job so coming over here if you guys notice and pick up on the site details um so these chairs here are the accent chairs that i put here i guess they're not the same as this one but this one was very close to what i had already um that costly has sent over but i do like the contrast of having different colors especially this one it gets used the most so to me it was important to have something that was a little bit darker in fabric because these ones are lighter and they seem to show the dirt the most so yes i did already have these ones for a while but i wasn't utilizing them there actually were two of them that were just sitting underneath our deck and collecting dust and i was just like you know what let me go ahead and repurpose these and i feel like they fit the space and I love them. So again, I will be having some new pillows sitting here. I saw there was one at Hobby Lobby and my mother-in-law actually has it and it says uh, front porch sitting and I really wanted that, but she ended up getting it before me. So I'm pretty sure I'll go back and get those as well. Uh, so coming over to our porch. So with the porch here, I love the columns, you know, again, having that modern farmhouse look. I do want to switch it up and change it and make it more festive for Memorial Day and 4th of July. I'm, 
I am patriotic, patriotic, but I don't necessarily um, have all the flags and all of that stuff during um, those particular holidays. But I would like to change that a little bit and make it more festive this year because I am going to be hosting for some of our friends on our street. And um, so I'll be hosting our summer kickoff with a barbecue and I just figured that it would just make the house more festive. So there are these, um, what are they called babe? Bun Buntings. Buntings um, that you put here on the, um, basically, I don't know how to, they're kind of like drapes I would say. Yeah, I'll put a have. picture. No, Matt's gonna insert a picture, but um, so it's kind of like outside curtains, drapes, but they're flags. And I just thought it would be so cute, so Southern, so beautiful just to have that here, especially against my white exterior of my home. This color is called extra white and I absolutely love it. And I just feel like it would really pop and just make it that more festive for the holiday. So that's what's going to be coming soon. And we'll have another picture or update you guys in a story on Instagram of how that looks. Um, again, just having some traffic come by because we are in a cul-de-sac, so people that live here are coming home. All right, so another thing that we added as well um, last spring were these hooks here. They are multi-functional for us because I like to change things um, throughout the season. So right now they have, again, my super tunias in them, but um, last year we had ferns in there. Ferns, I will never do again because as you guys see, today is a sunny day as it normally is and the front of my um, yard is completely full of sun and ferns really need shade and so those things got fried plus we had some baby birds that got in there as well that was a whole thing because I accidentally killed the birds and it was awful <laughs> so terrible I felt bad Remember we had the nest in there and then the nest fell on the ground it was terrible it was so terrible poor birds so um this year we I've checked there's no baby birds in here <laughs> I'm doing okay I'm not killing anybody's children and that was awful I can't get over it it was so terrible um, so anyway, so these change out throughout the season. In the fall, we had actually our little skeleton here that we hang this year. We're going to be doing a scene for Halloween that's going to be, um, what is it, uh, skeletons and dungeons and spiders. It's just all kind of, it's just a dungeon theme is basically what the theme is. But it's going to be so cute. Last year we did witches hats that were hanging and stuff. And it was just really nice. And like I said, the the hooks are multifunctional for us. So they really come in handy and I, I absolutely love them. Um, so that's something that Matt put in for me. We just got those from Home Depot and they could fit. I think they could hold up to 50 pounds on each hook. So that works out. Um, eventually this whole hedge, again, if you guys saw last week's vlog and just to let you guys know, I do have another channel called Planted in this Georgia Clay. I think it's so cute. Um, but that's going to be more so of me doing planting and things. I've already planted some roses on the side of my house that would eventually become a beautiful rose hedge. Um, those are knockout roses. I am continuing on the side of the house with hydrangeas and arborvitis and all of those things. So if you guys love that type of stuff, please make sure that you go ahead now and we'll have the link to the video or the new channel in the description so you guys can subscribe. And also once we hit a thousand on that, of course, we'll do another giveaway. Um, so eventually, like I said, these gardenias will grow up and have a nice hedge here and be very beautiful. They should start blooming soon. I do see some buds on them here. Um, so it does say that it usually blooms in um, May, June. So we are in the beginning of June. So hopefully these buds all open up and they should have beautiful white flowers against my beautiful white house. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. Special shout out to Costway. Thank you guys so much for partnering with us and completing our front porch makeover. And please make sure that you guys like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and make sure you go right now and subscribe to Planet in this Georgia Clay. Bye guys.